morning guys and welcome back to another one it's a beautiful sunny day here in Ontario the birds are singing the Sun is shining slight breeze not too hot not cold stand by Well, here in Ontario, much, much like a lot of places, but here in Ontario, the weather can change in no time. So today we are expecting 25 millimeters of rain overnight. We'll start around four o'clock, thunderstorms, maybe a little bit of wind. This ain't about hail or tornadoes, but it's supposed to rain hard. It's supposed to rain all night and right until, let's say nine, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Today being Monday, that can rain into Tuesday morning. We'll see what it brings. We're prepared. Alright guys, I shot those clips you just saw at about 10, 10.30 this morning. Nice, bright, sunny. I was just coming outside now. It's about 5 o'clock to do an update as to what's going on with the weather. And it's coming down. Now, they did initially said it was going to come at 4 o'clock, which it didn't. And then they said it was going to be pushed back to around 6, 6.30. It's here. That doesn't look too bad, though. We're going to go have a quick look around the back. A little dark up there. We're keep an eye on it and see what's going on. Like I said, this, they're talking 25 millimeters of rain from now till about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, they're usually wrong. In this case, it's raining. No, under the tree. She thinks under it's okay to go play soccer in the rain. Oh, it'll be 10 again. Anyway, I'm hoping that they're going to be wrong, but we'll find out. I got to go play soccer in the rain. Well, it got dark and that soccer match lasted all of about 30 seconds <laughs> and we were soaked. All right, time for an update. It's about 6.15. As you saw, it was raining pretty good there for a little while, but the uh, sun's out here. A little bit of cloud coming in, but it's still sunny. Let's look over here. So I can hear some thunder off in the distance over there. Now I was gonna rip on the weatherman when I first started this video. And I thought, well, if it does come down in buckets, I'm gonna look kind of foolish. But so far, it's not looking like a whole lot of not looking like a whole lot of storm coming. There's still time though. We'll see how it goes. Alright, well it's obviously the next day. We got our behinds handed to us last night with rain. Uh, luckily for us, there's no water in our basement, but I can guarantee there are people in the neighborhood in town that got water. Give you an idea of just how much water we did have. Go take a look at where my truck is parked. This is what we got. Got all that water. Because the drain is plugged up. Just like that, the water's all gone. Well, the storm wasn't exactly what I expected. It lasted about three days, well, three nights of rain, so you didn't get to see a whole lot because it was all at night. I was expecting some thunder, some lightning, some wind. No hail. I don't want any dents in my truck, so no hail. But 
pretty anticlimactic, as they say. Who's they? I don't know who they are. But one thing it did do, and I gotta try and close this out on a good note. So, what it did do was, you remember the racetrack in my backyard from the dogs and the grass missing and everything else? All that rain and some grass seed has brought my grass back. Not only that, this family is not going to the grocery store to get vegetables this year. You want to know why? Well, I think you already know why, but I'm going to show you why. That rain just boosted our plants beyond belief. All right, we got some tomatoes, cucumbers, more tomatoes, peppers, beans. Son keeps playing games with my camera. That's not all. Let's go over here. All right, have a look in here. These are peppers. Jen planted these from seed. Right there. Cucumbers. Blueberries. Tomato. We have all kinds of vegetables. I'm going to tell you, that's it. That's not all. Uh, the table in the house, which I showed you all that in other videos, still has some plants on it that we got to get in the pots yet. But what about potatoes? We got potatoes. Look at this. We got potatoes. More potatoes. More potatoes. More. And a goose. So needless to say, this family is not going to be spending time at the grocery store this year arguing or elbowing over produce that's not from this country. We grew it ourselves, and all this stuff here was grown from seed. We didn't buy any plants. So the cost savings is going to be huge. If you, There's still time, folks. If you got a little bit of space or a pot here or a pot there, but you can always still go spend a few bucks and get a couple of plants, put them in the pots, get yourself some fresh vegetables that you grew yourself. I will admit, this whole thing was my big idea. Jen did all the work. She's the one that did all the hard work day in, day out. Planting seeds, planting plants, starting them from seed in the house, bringing them outside. So she did a lot of work on this. And our family's going to benefit in a couple of months from her hard work. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. So get outside, plant your food, harvest your food. In the end, you'll be glad you did and you'll enjoy it a whole lot more. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Later. <laughs>